Teach them on my first real love out of all with you. My first real love, and then I don't want to lose it now. Every time we get so close, I fear that love will lose them both. Teach them on my first real love out of all. I am here vibing one of the supremely talented songbirds in Jamaica's music space. Her parents named her Dirt Wisdom, but we know her as... Dwisdom. Dwisdom. <laughs> I know her as D-Wisdom. <laughs> she is saying that it is... Dwisdom. So where did the D-Wisdom thing come from then? I don't know. You don't know, but you know, it is Jamaican just Dwisdom. Things. Yes. <laughs> All is well, Empress? I am tired, you're but tired. I'm good. I'll give I it time. I am times. happy that despite the fact that you're tired, you took some time out to come all around with the teacher. Yes, yes, yes. It's good to see. It's, yes. good to see. it's a pleasure. Yeah, man. <laughs> Big up yourself, teach them. Wisdom says so. I mean, yeah. Love you guys. <laughs> teach them. Always make sure the message I reach them. Lady Wisdom. <laughs> You're not You're not Looking young and lovely. Thank you. Yeah, I try. You try. You're doing very well. You're doing very well. Thank you. Talk to us, though. Early life, place of birth. Um, I was born in St. Catherine. Yeah. Central Village, actually. Oh, yeah. I'm a home baby. Uh, and then I moved to Portmore, I think, when I was about seven years old. We moved to Portmore. So. For a lifetime, I'm living in, in Portmore. Portmore, yeah. Portmore, for sure. Yes. <laughs> How many siblings? Um, I have one sister. One sister? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's older than me. She's okay. five years older than okay. me. And she's still with us? Um, yeah, man, she's yeah, still alive. She lives in the state. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mommy and daddy still around? My mom passed away in 2015, but my dad is still alive. Oh, my condolences, Re. Thank you. Mommy. And thing. where did you attend school, though? Um, I went to Brayton All Age School, then I went to Crescent All Age School, then I leave Crescent and I went to a school called Eastern Academy I, where I only did one year. Where is East? Where was that located? That school used to be exactly in front of um, Devon House. It's no longer oh, there. Okay. Yeah, Eastern so Academy. Eastern Academy High. Mm. I did one year. So my thing is no. I was this impatient child. Uh. <laughs> and uh, bookwork? Oh. Not your type of thing. It's not really my type of thing, but it stresses me out. Mm -hmm. So my mom looked at me and she said, after I did one year at Eastern, she said, What do you want to do? Because I was always good with my hand. Okay. And I sing. So she said, um, You want to learn to sew? So I said, Yes. And I get excited. So she sh I went to sing her, okay. learned to use that machine, learn to sew, all of that. And then I went to a designing school called Fashion Academy of Jamaica. It's no longer exists right. because the lady that owns it, she migrated. Okay. Now from there on, I have been sewing because that's my other profession that okay. I do. A lot of people don't know. And then now it was just the music and that. Mm. So for that, that's all, that yeah. was my income coming in, music and, and my sewing. The sewing pick up the music. <laughs> what was it like growing up though from a financial perspective back then? Um, it was my mother alone. Mm. She had two girls. She worked full time. She went to school full time. So like, wow. You would probably glimpse her early in the morning, and then you wouldn't see her at night because we went to bed. But yeah. then I started oh. waiting upon her. She will get home at twelve o'clock, and I waiting upon her. Um, my childhood, it was it was quiet. I was more like a tomboy. Yeah. <laughs> but um. I was a homely person. I didn't mm. really like to go out, per se. You know, yes. I was more, I'd stick to mommy. I was always clingy mm. to her. So then, basically, going through that, and um, that's just it. I yeah. was, and it, it was just music for me, music. Actually, it's my sister who got me into singing in front of people. Because I was just going to ask, you know, how the musical, my sister Jordan started, started that. Okay. There was a talent show in Portmore they called Sunshine Talent Show Sunshine years ago. Um, Carl Bradshaw was a part of that, and, I, and I, um, this man, he passed away. I think it's George is his name, that did that big. It was a big one, one of the biggest talent show in, in Portmore. Portmore. Mm -hmm. And then my sister 
got me signed me up for Tasty Talent. Oh yeah. So that was like 1988. 1988. Around that time, I played second, second? in the final. Yeah. Who yes. won that year? You remember? A guy named Michael. He oh. was a dub poet. He did a oh. dub. Yeah. He was really, really good. He was really good, I'm telling you, because I was like, Mom, he's going to win. Mm -hmm. But he beat me by one point. One though. point. Mm -hmm. yeah. So from there on, talent, tasty talent, then um, I got to know Pablo Stewart from Koch, who used to be in Koch. He's right. no longer here. Oh, Pablo Parson. Yes. And uh, he used to like, you know, get me to do a little singing. We would have talent. Um, in New Kingston was a popular place where you will have people singing right. so he would like get a show there for me and so forth and then now his brother William Stewart now that is he was a member of third world right mm. so they were brothers right and so we would always be around third world also and stuff so Paul is the one who really get me started recording and putting out stuff mm. I actually record two songs years ago from a friend of mine who you know he saw potential yeah but he never released the songs you before you link up with Pablo before I link up with Pablo oh yeah he never released the, released a song I did a song called all this time that cover and then I did um what the song name again close your eyes give me a chance darling mm. that song and it's actually one of the brownie guys and I think Pam Hall who had sang harmony and that oh, song yeah? at the time and he just wouldn't release the song. It was just too sentimental to him. Oh. But then, moving on, Pablo now is where <coughs> pushes me now, get me into this feel of singing and doing more recording. Mm. So your first official recording for Pablo was, was? My first official record was um, a Regina Bell song, you know? Mm. Yeah? Yes. Baby, come to me? Baby, come to me. Mm. That was the first song I did. And I actually started writing First Real Love. And I sang the chorus for Uncle Paul. I call him Uncle Paul. Uncle Paul. Yeah. And then we were going up to the studio to do some recording. And he said to me, what about that song that you, know, you were doing? Yeah. So I said, I finished it in Uncle Paul. So I started singing it for him while he picked me up going up to the studio. And when he hear it, he stopped in the, basically in the middle of the road. Willie, call Ian, call so and so, and call who oh, they're supposed to call. Meet me up at the studio. Yes. And that was it All from right, there. We'll soon come the first, we love. Call I know. Song there. <laughs> <laughs> so the first song there was the cover of the Regina Bell. Was the that Regina song Bell. actually released? Yes, man. Oh, yeah. Yes. How did that song do? do, do? Like, um, did it actually start opening doors before First Real Love came, or it was just, you know, it's the so first one out officially and in I think? It, I think it started opening doors because people thought, actually people were saying if it's Regina sing the song in reggae or whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> really? That's, yeah. that's a Jamaican. Right. So it started opening door. And I have to let you know, I was a shy person, so I was more reserved. Even though I was sing, I would not talk. I, I don't associate. I was more shy and reserved, you know? So if it was out there, I, like if it play at club, I wouldn't know because I wouldn't be going to club right, those times right, either. Right. So I don't know. You know? How old were you at the time though? I was like in my 2021. Okay. 2021 when I started singing. So Baby Come song. to Me, Regina Bell was your first case of studio record. Well, let's see a record. Well, I recorded right, but then that but was the in terms actual of song, song that was released. That release. Mm. Then was no, Baby Come to Me. You made mention of the song just now. The first real love, that song is local, international, global. When I until recently, I thought that song was done by one of them, Regina Bell, Patilla <laughs> Bell type of people, them Whitney, you understand? Thank I you. didn't know at the time, growing up, that that song was done right. by a Jamaican. A lot of people still don't know. Big song! A lot of people still don't As know. As we say, local, international, yes. global. Mm -hmm. That song could have easily crossed over and become a massive, massive song. As a matter of fact, if one of those names that I call that done that song, it would be a legendary song. Actually, um, I think 2013, Ashanti did Sample. it with Beanie Man. Oh, yeah? She, yeah, she did the chorus. Uh -huh. She sang with the chorus with being um being a man DJ yeah. something on it. Oh yeah. And then that blow up in twenty thirteen and people were calling me D D uh, R and B singer do over your song and I'm like, who? 
and they say Ashanti. I'm like, really? So they never clear it today? No, they didn't clear it with me, but then when I do my research, uh, my name is there. Oh, okay. So, so your, your royalties will oh. come in and my credit is there. So, what? you know, so I mean, yeah. as long as they do the right thing, yes. we're fine. We don't have to, to do lawyers and stuff. Right. So let's talk about that song. And then again, when I found out again that it was a Jamaican who did that song, I was wondering to myself, was this song a cover? Who sing the original version? Me. Right. So that means that is a vibe what the song give you. I, know, I, I wrote that song. <laughs> talk to me about writing that song, though. Um... Lord, I forgot. I forgot to beat you up you know, when I give all this information. <laughs> so, basically, I had a relationship. Mm. Yeah, young, you know, first young and fool. <laughs> you know, you're young and fool. Yeah. But then, is that was just my feelings on paper. Oh, and okay. then, you know, you're talking to your friends and they're giving you advice. So, my chorus, like I said, it was the first chorus, like I was just putting my right, feelings right, on the paper. Right. That was my first real love. You know, you're young and fool, and you think you're in love anyway. <laughs> So after that, like a month after, I sat down. I was really on the veranda and I just decided I'm gonna write right the um the verse. Verses. And I, that was just one day writing the verse. It everything was flowing, the melody, everything I had, the melody, everything. Because when I finished writing that song and I went up to Willie Stewart's studio, I had to sing it for them. So oh. I had the melody already. And that's how that come in. So it was a relationship. You don't know if you want to be in it or you want to get out of it. And then people telling you, you need to leave him. And I'm saying they wouldn't understand. It's, it's conversation I'm having <laughs> yeah, with my yeah, friend. Yeah, I yeah. basically put right down <laughs> on that paper. Know. And uh, that was that. That was that. That was his conversation. And my feelings that I put and on that feelings. paper. 21 young and full full, not you? But even yes. before we talk some more about the song, mm. normally, Lady Dorrit, some people find one song when that went close, not close to in terms of be big as that, and, and we still see them up front and think, mm. you scored one of the biggest songs in the history of the music, mm. and, and some you. people still don't know wisdom. You Why? Know, because you know what happened? We, we didn't shoot a video for that particular song. Because right after that song, um, there was a song that was given to me by Dwight Lysett called Now That I now Know. That I know. Mm -hmm. And that was the video that everybody was interested in because of the type of music right. and how it sounded. And that's the video they shoot for that particular song. So people didn't know who was singing that song. I remember there was a show that I think is Bob Z. Grange used to put on that show, some club in New Kingston okay. called Live and, Direct, Live and Direct, where it's just musicians and artists. And that was one of a big show for me to perform. I was nervous. It was Cindy Breakspear, Susan Couch, who is no longer here, and, and a singer called Edda Grant. Mm. And I was the shy person when Uncle Paul said, you're going to close that show. And I'm like, what? No, I can't close that show. I think I had instant diarrhea. Right. I had to go, yes. <laughs> I have to tell you, nervousness. Yeah. And he give me ginger tea and everything. Even when I did that show, song, Yeah. I don't think they still believe I sang the song. They knew. It just was like musicians and singers were right. there. So they knew. But then the public still didn't know. And I don't know if when, I think it was JBC at the time. So old me is. Yeah. Kind of give you a little piece of it. Right. They thought I did a video, but I never did a yeah, video yeah. for that song. And I think that's the reason why a lot of people still didn't know who did the song. Because other people sing it over. And they still wouldn't know who sang First Three Love. Yeah. So, but before, by the time the interview is finished, people are going to learn that you have been doing serious work around here. <laughs> you have been working with arguably the greatest singer in the history of the music for a Stand long, away. long time. Yes. But we soon come to that. So, back to First Three Love. Mm -hmm. That song came and it became an instant hit song. Yeah. That was surprising to me. As a matter of fact, I think that song was number one for a stretch. It was number one for a stretch and I got Best New Artist when they had their award thing called Jammy, Jammy. Award. I got Best New Artist. What an impact. Yeah, <laughs> what but an impact. it still didn't register to me yeah. until I remember one day taking a transportation coming home. It was a coaster. Right. And you know, they play these music into right, right. the bus and 
I was sitting beside this lady in the bus. Nobody knew me. And you know, that's the song. And the driver had that book. And the entire bus was singing the song. The lady beside me was singing the song with all kind of feelings. And she didn't even know I was the art. No, she didn't know. And the tears came up in my eye because I said I didn't know that this song would reach people like that. The way how they gravitate to the song, yeah. I honestly didn't know it was reached people. It was just something personal yeah. to me. Every source party, every black and white party, every Valentine's party. That's what people are telling me. The song they have to play. That's what people are telling me. <laughs> I went on YouTube already and just reading some write-ups. Yeah. Like people just writing. Somebody had posted the songs the song on it and I was just reading the write-up and I tell him I get teary the experience where people like oh is my husband introduced me to I dance this song at a wedding actually a lady oh, yeah, found out already that too. I did the song through this guy <coughs> the Ian Heard Ian Heard is the one who played the sax on, on that song. song and they wanted for me to sing the song at their wedding mm. I went to the wedding I sang the song they danced to it and the couple said oh they're taking me home oh yeah yes <laughs> so people are still like no yeah. is, is she singing it no i know she's she sing it good like the girl man good like the girl it was released on peak record label peak record 1991. label 1991. yes brilliant song thank you so you much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you it's so funny, you know, 2019 when we were on Harmony House Cruise, I was mm. talking to Glamour Wayne. Oh, okay. Because he had been doing the cruise with us right, and stuff. Right, so, right. you know, we were there and I always troubling him. So I said, so I said, Glamour Wayne, every time when I play oldies, I don't hear when I play a particular song. So he said, which song? So when I told him the song, he said, hold on there. Of course, we play them song. I said, no, but you know, play it on the ship. So I said, <coughs> so I said you know, that's my song. <laughs> Glamour Wayne says, stop. Went to, to another disc jockey, call him. I said, he said, don't move, you know, come here, you're going to fight. Bring the disc jockey come and said, tell her what we was just talking about a while ago. And he says, yeah, we were just talking about the wisdom, because that's what they call me. Yeah, First real love and whatever. So, Lama went and said, ah, she singing song, you know. No, 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 no. And it was one excitement. Then he set me up. The night after we performed, there was a, you know, a party, and Glamour Wayne set me up in that party where he went to the disc jockey, draw the song, and said, people, on a CR every time on stage with the great Beris Amman. And she dip on the ship, I mess with everybody, and, and, and just down to earth and everything, and you would not know that is she. It play at every party and whatever, whatever. See her right there, sir, and set me up. I had to go up there and give them just a little piece. Oh, you got to do it for them? Just a little piece. I know if girl in my wine pan, whether well, song they play a party. Oh, Jesus. It's been ideas, eh? Huh, son? I've heard a lot of stories <laughs> from um, interviews and yeah, what, what, I what, 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 what I happened. Class party back in the idea, they threw the after Yes, and that's what I heard. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. party, them black and white. Yes. Yeah, man, I, 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 a girl, them hug you up tight with the song they play. <laughs> And taking her back, you know, a lot of people who know me working with Mr. Hammond for so long, right. like they actually cuss me out, like, you're wicked. All this time is you do that song? They, they cuss me out going out the party. Ain't no, no, more. no but nobody knew. And then for me, I don't think I have to tell anybody. If right. you find out, you find out. Like I said, I, I try to stay humble yes. and stuff because, you know, you, you can go up there, sir, and you can drop yeah, booth. You know, people will say, how oh, comes you never get so big and stuff? And I said, maybe fame is just not for me. You know, I'm, I'm okay where I am, but I still record and I still love to sing, you know? You have, but, a, you have quite a, a body of work out there. Like, I suppose you got to demystify them things as oh you go along. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> the first real love, I'm asking you for a few lines. They may think I'm a fool for loving you. They don't know what we have is so special. Time and time as I see you, I love you more. It feels so good and I don't want to let it go. Just one kiss and I'm in ecstasy. Hold me close. Yo, <laughs> yo, as they say, and not just local or international, so it's a global song. Thank 
yeah. and, and the song is speaking about a global language of love. Yeah. Brilliant, man. You don't know that come out of me, but... <laughs> you don't know that come out of you. Mm-hmm. Just write your feelings. A great this, man. Great yes. this. One of the real, real classics in the space. Thank you so much. Humble thank little you. lady. Thank you. You got myself, man. I'll take your credit, man. Thank I love you. It. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, man. I would say that was 1991, One. there, mm-hmm. there about, right? Yeah. And I think it was on the RGR Top 40, so it was about number one for about five weeks five and so weeks, yes. I would say that it was you were voted best new artist for the Jammy Award at well, 92 I think that yes. that, that was mm-hmm. and then you did an album I did an album actually the album hold on hold on you did the album before you did now that I know um after after you did after the album first real love yes then Willie wanted to do an album, album. so we did the album it never got released. I think he tried to get it signed abroad, but they said they didn't know how to market me. Mm. I, I I didn't sound. They didn't know how to market me. He said because I didn't I didn't sound local. Right. The stuff then that I was doing, I never sounded local. And then they didn't know how to market me with that. So it wasn't a big deal for me. And it then wasn't? Richie, not really. Richie B. Ask him for the album. He says, will he give it to me? Because Richie B is one of them who was playing first real love. Uh, I actually, the first big show I ever do in Jamaica was Richie B's show at Coney Island when they had Coney Island. Shabba Ranks was on that show and everything in front of a big crowd. And then I did a second one for him. But Richie B asked um, William Stewart for the album. I have no reason why he wasn't giving the album. Uh, he probably trying to get it signed abroad. But he should have given um, Richie B and then it would have, Richie B said, give it to me, I'll tease the, the right. audience with me. Because he was in my corner, just love me back then. Richie B just loved me back then. So you so, did the album for Willie or for Pablo? It, between both of them. Because Pablo was the one who was managing me right, and Willie okay. was the producer. Yes, so I did that album. It never released. And then after Pablo died, Willie wanted us to refresh some of the instruments. And, and I said, mm, no, nah, it, it was like too it was. sentimental. Yeah. And I said, if Uncle Paul wasn't going to be alive to yeah. be see this I, I don't want so to where's the album now like where, where is it it's nowhere it's nowhere no i think he would have more copy of it and then you know willie migrate i move on to doing stuff and i wasn't interested to do the album but anymore. lady direct man the voice too sweet and nice so yeah. nah, i you know understand? i know but i wasn't interested again yeah. no <laughs> <laughs> Pablo not being alive yeah but was just too much yeah, I understand you know that. even till this day the album was actually titled um i'm not even sure, I'm not sure. and i'm not even sure if they had titled it you know i'm not even sure if they had given it that, that the title as yet because then paul would have been a part of that right so i'm not even sure i think so but i don't think so that's a long time now that i know that was a song that you made reference to with the video yes earlier that was dwight lyset he that, wrote that he wrote that song Big song, I think. Big you? song because I didn't even. I Big didn't, video. I didn't know I could sing that song. Yeah. No, because if you listen to the chords and how it move, I am just this right how I sing, and then he had to teach me, you know, to how to flow it, and mm-hmm. I have to listen to it over and over, and then I had to make the lyrics become yes. mine. So when I keep listening to the lyrics now, that's how I perform that song in the studio, because I had to perform the song in the studio. Mm. I was one emotional young missing. Yeah. So everything was emotion for me. So I think that's how I did that particular song and did my best to sing that song. And right away, everybody wanted to do the video for right. it and stuff with classic car clubs right, and all these it, things. Because it look like one of them classic American movies with and they cars thought, and all the, the dress code and all of them. I think Lisa and I was in that video. Yes. I think so. Um, La Cadco Dance Group. Right. Okay. David D. Willie, um, Carlos from Carlos Cafe, because it was his place that we used. Oh. Is a lot of people. Just lan- it, want- and Lantern and Stein, you know, she had Lakadko, and right. from, she was always in love with me. So from she hear that, she said, um, Paul, we dancers will be there. So it was a lot of those famous people in the video. That video has stood the test of time, because I watched the video recently, and I mean, only to me where the cars them come from like um actually we were going somewhere i don't know and it was somewhere in new kingston there let me tell you if i can remember the place that's there right now i think they have live show there 
at a particular corner in New Kingston, not into New Kingston, right. but more like on Old Rope Road. It would be on Old Rope Road. I think that's what near coming off the British Embassy, oh, okay. and you're going okay. up that there. Then so you have live road, music right, yeah. right there. I think you would know is where, at, at, at that particular corner. Uh, okay. I think we were passing there, and that's where we saw the cars, and I'm like, Uncle Paul, Uncle Paul, oh my God. Uncle Paul, you know we could use that car in the video, because we start talking about the team, you know. Mm. I said, Uncle Paul, I want to wear a pinstripe, like back in the 60s or in those days when they wear the pinstripe and I want a felt hat and that's how I want to look in the video. And you know that old time mic that come down from right, the ceiling? Right. That's the look I wanted. We saw the car, we went to the gentleman and he says, we did, he did even, we didn't even pay to use the car. Oh, he did it for free? He gave us those cars to use for free. The lady with the outfits, she collect vintage. And for some reason, I don't know, Uncle Paul knew her. She donated those outfits oh, yeah? to the video also. We didn't pay for those. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know, give me a couple lines out of that, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it starts. Now that I know what everybody else knows, things are going to be different. But I won't make the same mistake now that I know what you've been hiding from me it doesn't really matter especially now it's over mad <laughs> you a, know you would have scored day. two massive songs and you could have gone and pursued your solo journey yeah but something different happened you started now to do Background. background vocals. Why would somebody with such a beautiful voice with such massive songs under her belt choose that route? Um, choosing that route is not deliberate, but okay. it's called You Have to Live. Right, okay. And personally, I can say if Pablo Stewart had the <coughs> money to invest in me the way how he wanted to, I think I would have been bigger than this. But he was a musician himself. Right. And, it, you know, no, back then, musician. The right. So he wanted to get me on the North Coast. I did a few little stuff at the hotels. I said, I, I told him I don't like it. You don't like and it? I didn't like it. I went down there and I did about three something already. And yeah. The, the audience were good. Mm. But I said, Uncle Paul, I didn't Not like it. Yeah, I didn't like it. So then Dean Fraser asked me if I can do harmonies. I'm like, I don't know, I don't think so. I'm always singing lead. And he said, right. come at the studio, man. Because Dean is the one who really get me into harmony singing. Oh, yeah? Dean Fraser. <coughs> so Dean got me into harmony singing. I started singing harmony in the studio with Dean Fraser for people like Luciano. Um, I think we, they were doing a Dennis Brown album one time too, and I was singing harmonies. Um, Sizzler, when he was in his uniform come in there yes. yeah because i had love sizzler yeah. dean would call us to do background and yes. it was through dean phrase i was doing a lot of backgrounds for other people they're like i said luciana yeah. and stuff and then i remember a friend of mine michelle she's now michelle jackson yeah. she was saying that you know would you looking for another she singer was at, Pentos at the time yes mm. and she said would you need a singer oh yeah so i said yes i said yeah she said you would do it i said of course and I went, I auditioned, Donovan Jermaine was looking at me like, okay, I didn't know if he was going to call me. And then mm. after that, I got a phone call and I did three years with Bujo. Now, during the three years I did with Bujo Banton, we did a tour called House to House Tour. It was oh, Bujo so, and so. Beris together. Oh, yeah? I was still working for Bujo. But then for some reason, Mr. Amman just always loved me because uh. he's one of my favorite 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 artist from my little girl I people are singer <laughs> it's my favorite artist I people are favorite artist Buju Bantan was my favorite DJ, DJ also from ever since oh, so I got to work with two persons that I yes mm. so when I was with Buju now you know you know I'll be at the side of the stage cheering on Mr. Hammond and singing then Mr. Hammond asks um Nikki Tucker because it was Tucker. both of us, Nikki Tucker mm. used to work with us. You know, bring wisdom, come. You know, I want to do some harmonies for us. So, went up to the studio, sang some harmonies in the studio, because Nikki and I sound so great together. Yeah. Sang some harmonies and stuff. And then he heard me and Nikki with Bujo and said, No, man, the two of us sound like four people out there. And all of a sudden, Mr. Aman said, I'm going to go to the studio. 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 I'm going to go to the studio
<laughs> so it all a little bit. In 1997, you became a part of Penthouse. Bujo right. working with him. Yes, and 97. You, you, but before that, you mentioned Lucian and Sisa. And there any notable songs out there from the messenger, from, from Kalanji, where Wait, you were? I try to remember yes. them. Um, all right, I can't remember it right now. I remember me and Dean argue because he was trying to put me on that high note and I had to sing that high note and I was giving him the eye. Yeah. But it's one of his most popular songs back then. Which one? Lucia, or Lucia. Luciano. Luciano. And I'm trying to remember the song because every time you hear the song, yeah. my daughter will say, Mommy, hear your voice, that it stands out. One of his, I no, 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 yeah, remember that. it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And then Sizzler Owen was from early back then. Um, I'm trying to remember no, one of Sizzler's one. No, no. If I hear it play, I'm going to say, yeah, no. I sang on that one. So you know, you but I'm not remembering them. Things, I'm not remembering them. Yeah. yeah Dean Fraser right. was the best person to tell you yeah. his wish oh, okay. one because he was the one who was, you know, having yes. us working in the studio. So, Gargamel now, you became a part of, part his, of his, his, his whole setup. Yes. And thing, mm. and you went on the road Tours with him and stuff. Tours and stuff, yeah. Do you are you actually on any of his, his, his recorded songs? Um, I actually recorded a song with Donovan Germain mm. and Buju Banton, DJ on that Somebody song. Somebody tell me. Then Somebody you do the... tell me. So I did that song for Donovan right. and then Buju yeah, did Buju his part on it. Telling you and, and then that became Telling You. Yes, then yeah. they call it Telling Tell You. Okay. Um, I did a few songs for Donovan Germain. You have a song called Parties Jumping. Yeah, and the things on time with him. Yes. That's that, a lovely song, you know. Yes, I used to I sing it. I, when we used to open for Mr. Hammond um, touring in the early part, I used to do that song. That song was written by Peter Morgan oh, from yeah? Morgan Heritage. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. That's a lovely song. Yes. Actually. yes. And, and it's, it's, it's a different... Um, the wisdom type of vibe, the wisdom yes. is normally very soulful. Yes, and, yes, and that was a, and that was a more hippie. And so. Yes, but um, even musicians that used to work with us in our band would record me. Like you have Gapo, Gapo um, Manning, Andrew Manning, who you know we call him Gapo, Gapo. used to play keyboard for us. And he wrote us, um, he produced a song for me that I wrote that I used to sing on stage. Mm. And it's so funny, you'd watch the audience singing the song, like, oh, they know the song, yeah. and it not really really, it not release. It never released because Gepo was just a musician. Right. You know, so those songs I would sing them live because Mr. Amman always say, if you have your original, sing them. Sing them. So I sing my origi original them on stage. Yeah. I did a few songs with Gepo. Um, some released and some didn't release. Right. You know? So let's talk about some of this. We mentioned some of them already, but as me I said, this is to, to show that um, wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really prefer to say D wisdom. If you want to say wisdom slash D wisdom, I don't have why, a problem. Wisdom. Do you prefer All right. wisdom? Yeah. I prefer D wisdom. No, Something wisdom. about it is just. <laughs> Unique, don't it? Yeah, it is. Pablo right? Stewart was the one who named it. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's Dorit wisdom. So the... Dorit wisdom, and he said, we're just going to call that one word wisdom. wisdom. It's unique. So that's why people didn't it's know who was, you, who was wisdom. Wisdom yeah. sound like some foreign artist. But and wisdom sound like some. They come from artists. Europe. <laughs> when they did an interview, some people say, Where where do wisdom come from? Barry Gio said, Me come from Europe, Europe. me come from America. Me don't know where me not come, come from. from I know me not come from Jamaica. <laughs> and Barry G said, No, you know, it's a little young miss that yes. lives right in Portmore. Right. I guess I didn't believe it. So whilst it. you have been with, with Bojo, the great Gargamel mm -hmm. and, and the great Armanios, Mr. Berserman, mm -hmm. you have done a solid work for yourself as well in terms of singles, right? Yeah. You just mentioned somebody tell, tell me, me. Mm -hmm. that song got some love in the street. Yeah, he was playing abroad too. Mm. I mean, I was in Canada well, and walking to. Play abroad, you know, wisdom <laughs> because it's, it's just the, the texture and tone of your voice. Ah, it's just thank an you. international appeal. It's just the truth. Thank you. Yeah, man, I saw, I saw you think of it too, man. Thank you, I appreciate so, I'm that. Yeah, man, I, saw I you appreciate think, that. I appreciate <laughs> right. that. So somebody tell me yeah. what well, I think 1998. Yes, and that was from that time. Yeah. Around that and Donovan Jeremy. Right. And that mm -hmm. song got some love. And then you and Buju now do the combination and yes. it became Telling You. Telling You. Telling You feature mm -hmm. and Buju. Yes. Yeah, man. Yes. And then now another song, Pride and Dignity. You know, Pride and Dignity, my mom wrote that song. She oh, and I yeah? wrote that song. Mommy wrote the song. Both of us was writing that song. Yes. Hey. Yeah. 
Yeah, she was hip like that. My mother was cool. She was uh, one cool girl. She was very supportive with my music. And I think that is on the right time with him. Same, yes. Mm. So I want peace, uh, pride and dignity. But don't remember uh, it. You don't remember it? No. Yeah. Don't yeah. remember it. Tell me the love that. Me I don't love remember that. it. I hear me not sing it. I hear me not sing it. Yes. Yeah. Me not remember it. It's actually, Grams told me that it was on the album. Oh. Yes, he says it's on the album. I'm like, what? So I went to Pencil and said, Donovan, I need that album. And when I look, I see it. I'm like, okay, so I have an album. Uh, I have the album with it. But I don't remember. I would have to play it over again. Right. I was, play I was playing it last night. I mean, I say, yeah. I would have to play it song, over again. Sir. Oh, gosh. But tell we me, see, you, remember, you remember the parties jumping, though? Oh, tana, 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 tana. Every time you hear it, that song yeah. used to sing. Yeah. I remember I'll parties jumping. Give me a couple of lines out of that, though. So it's like, bodies rocking nonstop. Cause the DJ's rolling up the hit non-stop Party's getting out, party's getting up Ghetto people about to cause a roadblock No guns will be rinsing And all the rubbers are dancing Something like that All the ladies are dancing Ain't no time for cat fighting Cause the party is jumping Everybody is vibing to the beat Music is bumping Vibe is right today Oh yeah Big song from big rhythm <laughs> My thing. I had fun doing that yeah, song. Yeah, I don't remember Pride and Dignity. Worse, I call you a mommy write the song. I don't remember it. Mommy with the police. And I'm trying to remember. Come on, oh right. God, so, man. So, a long so, time, So, so far, we have First Real Love. Mm -hmm. We have Know That I Know. Know That I Know. We have Somebody Tell Me. Yes. Telling You. Yes. Pride and Dignity. Yes. And the party is jumping. Yes. Wisdom and has been doing more. some work around. We know some of you are going to get around to that man. One well, album where you do where them decide if you don't release because I don't know why. They don't but release. But you couldn't buy no one to play. You understand? All that too. So. All that too. All that too. But I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I saw a lot. And, and you, you would have also, apart from Luciano, then get it back, back in vocals of people like Davil. In Jamal, studio. In studio. Yeah, man, in studio, mm. yes. We do a lot of studio work um, for people like those. Right. Yeah. And then now you said that Berries love the flavor mm -hmm. and you then move from Pentos to Harmony House. To Harmony House. Mm. With the great man. No fears. No fears. We grew Over up Over plenty years. Um, about, about 20 plus about years now. 21, 22 years. And you dip on the road, dip on the street, the stage where the gr as 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 Ari Tadler said, the man who can't sing nothing wrong for you people. Him. <laughs> what 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 does that expect? I mean, being on the road with Bojo, I mean, must have been great as well. You understand? But what has it been like for so long? Because you work with somebody for 21 years, means you must have a good relationship, man. Very good relationship. What has Humble. It, yeah. Humility. Very summon. Appreciative, very someone. Bury someone. He's, that, he's that artist when you finish, he say, when them people there, call them, call them. And he say, thank you, you know. Yeah? If him not get to say it tonight, remember him say it tomorrow. tomorrow. He say, me thank you. Know. You'll finish a show and he will say to manager, call them girls there for me. Because we're on the bus, we have separate bus. The boys, guys are on one bus, all the singers on the other bus. Okay. And um, he will say, call them girls there for me and we'll go to and him say, so how was it? I mean, Berries, I said, how was it? So that's, a sh that's to show you about humility. Yeah, well, yeah, well. yeah humility, that's so the truth like, still. So I come up here and I say, how was it? So I say, step out of your body the next time, go in the audience I'm and out. watch it. And then you will say, how <laughs> was it? Because sometimes him get me in a one vibe on stage and I tell him sometimes, I say, no one fight you, you know. You, you have to take time with we too, you know, because him do some notes and him stuff. And <laughs> I mean, I feel, you know, but working with Mr. Hammond, it's all about music for him. He's passionate about music. His music is before money. He's passionate about his work. He, like I said, he appreciates us. Like really, you notice him use the word family. Family. Him don't take it lightly. He appreciates us. Him love what him do. Him love him band members. Him, him serious with him work, you know. Mm. But he loves us. And we just, I don't, and. After doing stage, you know, Mr. Hammond now have no sense, you know. <laughs> and him are the mischievous person in oh. the group, you know. Oh, yeah? Oh, jeez, I mean, make you laugh and crack up. <laughs> he hangs with us. He hangs out with us. If we have a day off, we're hanging out together. 
we playing music, we talking, we have conversation with him. Him come hang out with us we, 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 at, at the back of the bus, we hanging out with him. Now, when you when you work with somebody, when somebody treats you like that and appreciates you, well, you know if you work with him so long. As you start, you officially you became a part of Armani House in 2000. 2000. So it's 21, 22 years. 21, 22 strong. years going strong with him. And people, when you hear the great man on stage, this is one of the lovely voices in the background. So it's you, Nikki Tucker? It was me, Nikki Tucker, um, back then. Michelle was then a part of that it too? Was, no, no, Michelle was Bojo. Bojo, oh, And that's then Bojo. it was um, Nikki Tucker, myself, and Melissa and Simpson. Melissa, Melissa. Then after that, it was myself, Melissa, and Alicia, that's Otti, who plays keyboard, right, right. his sister. Okay. Then after that, it was myself, um, Nicole, and Melissa. Yeah. Then it was myself, Dinette, she, her name is Deja, yeah. and uh, Melissa. Then it was myself and Deja. <laughs> yeah. And then it's myself, Deja, and Sharida Sharp. Yeah, in a very thing like a chorus in a white shirt because while me I hear different names that come up it's you and Melissa look like you are the ones who have been there the longest yes yeah. nice man yeah that, so all of them shows over the bars rock and mash up around there make sure him sound sweeter love him <laughs> love him love him love him love him you actually did something where many people afraid for do mm -hmm. cover a very strong if there's a song and he offered that song to me, he wanted did. me to do that song, and it's one of my favorite Berry Salmon. No people not sing Berry Lady with them, I'm afraid of it. I don't know why. He wants you to do his song. He wanted to do it. So he said, he want me to do it. And I said, okay, boss. He got the musicians together. I do my homework, went and learned the song. And called my girl, you ready? <laughs> yes, boss. Went up there, getting my emotions, sang the song. And my boss' statement was, she sing the song like a fear own. Can you imagine Mr. Stop Hammond said that? The lady Mr. There. Hammond said that? And like, whoa. If there's like, a song. One of my favorites. 2005, I think I did that song. Around that time. Yes, man. Uh, one of your favorites. One of my favorites. Sing it, man. Me yeah, sing it and me cut you. If <laughs> there's a song, mm -hmm. I've got to know the tune If there's a heaven mm -mm, I've got to go there soon yeah. And if there's someone Somewhere out there who needs some love I've got to know where yeah, yeah. And if there's happiness hiding I've got to get my share But if there's no love in your heart And you won't make a start There is no hope for you You're heading down Cause when we celebrate And the day is gone There you'll be running around Oh, if there's a song I've got to know the tune. Mm -hmm. Girl can sing. Girl Thank can you. sing. <laughs> One of my favorites. One of your favorites. Beautiful song, man. Yeah, and man. as me, I said, enough people who have lovely voices, free to take on the master works. Mm -hmm. uh, take it on and own it. Thank you. Here's a song. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Officially release and thing, and yeah, we can man, find it. Yeah, man, it. they release it, man. It's mm. gonna be under um, Harmony House. Okay. Yeah. You, Nikki Tucker, and Melissa. They win or lose. Win or lose. I think some people call it one life. One to life to live. live. Yes. Big tune again, man. <laughs> Mr. Hammond wanted me to do that. Song. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then I, I told him, you know, I want the other ladies to be a part. Oh, of so it. wanted you alone. Him hear and my yeah, same hear my voice on it, and then knowing who, who I am, I'm like, um, Mr. Hammond, I want the ladies them sing it with me to make we share it. So you bring in Nikki so we share and Melissa. It. Yeah, man, because Nikki Tucker can have sing. Nikki Tucker have a pipe. Yeah. What? <laughs> she can sing. Okay, 
I don't stay a choice, but why you sing a couple of lines? Oh my right God. There. It's amazing, you know. <laughs> why go again? Win or lose, this is my game to play. Right or wrong, I'll play it my way. And if I make mistakes, it's my own heart that breaks. I've got to find a way for life, for me alone. I only have one life to live, and I'm going to live it. I only have one love to give. I'm going to give it no matter what it is. He touches me and makes me his, oh yeah, now we're in love. <laughs> we are only human, Anthony B. Oh God, Anthony B wrote that. He wrote it? That's Anthony B's song. Oh yeah? And you got done it up, nice it up. He wanted another female. Actually, um, I just put my voice down on it mm. for another female to hear it and sing and it. Sing. Oh. He wanted me to ghost it, so I ghosted. The female wasn't responding to him, so he called um, Tixie, who is no longer here. He said, Tixie, call wisdom for me because she looked like she had more feel the tune. Mm. I want her to record it with me. Beautiful, and sir. Went into the studio, record the song. <laughs> No, I'm not missing it. I'm not missing it. I'm not missing it. But song recently. I'm not saying that I didn't know what song I had about. Lovely only, song, man. Yeah, man. We are only human. And I did the background vocals right. and, and, and it for him. Because I did background. I do, um, a lot of times he called me in to do background vocals for Anthony him. Anthony B. Yeah, man. And a lot of his songs, them, mm. you know? So, no so, problem. So, you have mentioned Bojo, Luce, Jamali, Deville, Anthony B. The great Barry Soderman. Mm -hmm. I, I, I figure you probably do back, back in vocals for other people to studio in studio, session. Yes. Right. And I think I did a song with Trilla you in a minute. You remember it? Oh, okay. Yeah, he wanted me to do a song. A collaboration? Yes, it was his oh. song too. Oh, I mean, and I he wanted me to sing it. Still. Yeah, it was on one of his albums. Did you not remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you have been doing studio work with other people yeah, down the years. Background vocals in the studio they call you. Even some, you know, some simple little people, but you know you love them. Yeah. Um, George's son, yeah, no, you know George from Firehouse. Right. His son. Oh. Jabari. Right? Jabari. Yes. Mm. Are you one of my teacher high school? One of my little favorite artists, you know. Yeah. Him bad. Him can write. And George called call me in and Sharida. And I said, I hear him. I said, no, man, you're not normal. Mm. And I did some harmonies for him in studio. Actually, Sherida and I went on stage and did some, you know, stage thing for him. Because, yeah. you know, George didn't get background vocals for him. Yet. And the I said, George, I'm too old for be a group for Fija, Fija Barra. Right? You have to get some young people here. <laughs> so yeah? so I said, get some young. You know where my priority yeah, lies. There is some man. Yeah. And he said, yeah, man, I know, 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 I know. And I said, I said, okay. And then I was pleased with the ladies then I working with him. I must say, lady director, though, sitting here talking to you mm -hmm. and knowing the caliber of voice that you have and your ability to write you have remained comfortable in the background you know people with voices that are not as sweet as yours you know push themselves up it is it is very in admirable to see somebody who has all the the, the, the tools and skill set to Thank be you. pushing themselves kind of you know yeah. okay in them own skin and comfortable in them place Thank and you. <laughs> Because you can't rival any one of them vocally. Thank that you. That's the truth of the matter. That. Thank you so much. I have another song who was written by um, Triple S. Triple S. Called Release. Lonely. Lonely. Yeah, man. Called Lonely. Yeah. So I wrote that song too. Yeah. And I love that song. Um, I don't hear the radio playing it. I've given it out to <laughs> people on radio station. I did I play. But I don't hear. One, one, one person said um, they have to... What, what they do it I don't think he's no longer at RGR or whatever station he used oh, to be okay. at so they had to review it first and I'm like ooh review. review okay like my song is not slack song so I said okay no problem I've given it to Mikey Thompson I think he had played it once I give it to Crazy Chris because I met Crazy Chris and I sent it through Heather Cummings to Crazy Chris I don't know if them play it but I leave it at that yes so, it was put on Spotify. Right, that's, that's what I was yes, going to ask. Yes, so 
the, the producer, he put it on Spotify, it is registered and we're good. So, and all the other songs can be found on the digital play stores, the iTunes, the Spotify? Some of them, some of because them. I did a song for um, Tixie, who is no longer here, mm. called, um, oh jeez, um, that rhythm is a Bob Marley rhythm. Mm, 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 Wait, name, Eden rhythm. Eden. And I did a song on that rhythm, which I really love. When I wrote that song, I was re writing the song thinking about my mother being passed. Oh, okay. So the song can either use for someone that you either miss that you lose in death, or it could be a relationship Just song. It. Yeah. So it is on that What's rhythm. The title Eden of the song? rhythm. Um, I don't remember. What oh, again? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Do you write for anyone? No. Officially? No, because I don't consider myself as a, um, writer. a quick writer or, or like, yeah, me take oh, long okay. for write. Oh, because, okay. um, and, and I don't know if you know that the, 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 the album for Shaggy, um, Hot Shot, I'm a co-writer on that song, the title track, Hot Shot. Hot Shot? Yeah. I did not know that. Yes. <laughs> Hot Shot itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah, hot shot, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but lady, we say you had some serious thing around in one park, around one place, around so me just, outside that spotlight. Well, I don't know. That is just, maybe I just got to do that for me, you know? And me just still stay in my little background. I'm impressed by your level of humility, though. Thank you. you there's say, no other way to be. Yeah, I am really impressed by that. Because some people, let me say, I push down for limelight and something, something, no, something. No, that's something. not me. Me too They like need some vice street. And you never do no vice? You, you never do no vice? Right. Never? Mm -mm. No, Samia. When me, when me lick a bit of maga, so I open for my mouth and I see. Yeah. A man I walk past the house and say, Mommy, you have to record her, man. No, man, I, when a man see me on me, Marga, and I want Piper come out. <laughs> yeah. You, you, know? you mentioned earlier to that, aside from music, you have been involved in designing. Designing. Yeah. And that is something you do right through. Um, actually, I do it on the side because sometimes I don't have any time to do it for other people. But then I have a few little clients who rate me. Because I tell them the dressmaker thing not gonna work for me. Yeah. No, I don't have that time there. And when me want to sleep, I <laughs> don't want nobody to knock my gate. So that don't work. Yeah. But like our outfits for stage. So you match up them there? I do those outfits for stage. Yeah. yeah. My thing, man. Multi talented. Yeah, no. I, I don't tell people, but the other two singers we always. Ah, she saw there's something there, ah, she designed them. And I'm like, well, so they know, no. They know. <laughs> no, they know. But you, you just keep it. Yeah, man. I tighten it and stuff. I just tighten it and keep it there and stuff. But mm. I don't, I don't make it big like that because right. I don't, I don't want anything to pressure me or stress me out. And then now, yeah, I don't have a demand. So I want to do my thing just simple. And if I do a one piece and somebody like it and the, like that's what I do. Yeah. I have a female who I don't know if you ever heard about Roti Express. No. Okay, well she's good. Oh, you know her. You know her. Yes. She, food, yeah, listen, though. no, her food is good. <laughs> From she launched that, she's the only person can give me curry goat and roti because me not like curry goat. Mm. And her food is clean, it tastes good, and the presentation has Exit. not dropped. Yep. Mm. And I remember I made mm. something for my nail tech already. A nail tech, because mm. every now and then I do my little long skirt, they make me like long clothes and simple stuff. Yeah. And my nail tech introduced her and said, she made those? So I made some top for her and she brought some African prints and said, D, could you? No problem. And from I did that, even in the pandemic, I think I make about five or six outfit for her, which she never did wear. She just wear one dress to a wedding and the bride wanted the dress and she was getting compliment. And I, she said, nobody can sew the stuff them for me, D, because when you sew my stuff, I, it looked like I walk into a store and bought them. But you bought them. Lady, so I just it's, and it's just simple stuff. Cause Simpl and, uh, simplicity simple is the simplicity. most beautiful thing in the and world. I, yeah, and I have to take my time because I have a thing called OCD. It have to neat and fine. So I'm not in a rush thing. Yeah, it have to, yes, too. it have to be neat and fine. So I don't so far a lot of people. One and two people will bring stuff and then I will do Where it. Much it up. Yeah. Mm. You have been in in the music space for a long time now. Yeah. From Early 90s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the first real love was 91. 91. Had, I had the tastes before. The tastes tastes before. Like, 98. In the 80s. 88. 88. How long time? Because that's when I won um, my little award. And right. I think, yeah, 88. 88. Okay. And you made mention now that 
in, in the 2000s, and you said, uh, Beanie Man and Ashanti, you said? Beanie Man and Ashanti did over. Sample. Sample. Well, Ashanti, she sing the chorus for First Real Love. You'll hear her singing the chorus. Yeah, go check out that. Yeah, man. And Beanie Man DJing. Yes. He, he, so I asked him how she knew the song. He said he introduced it to her. Oh, him so said, Moses spoke about it? Yeah, I said, how oh, she, oh, she get that song then? He said, um, I mean, introduce it to her, one of my favorite. Uh -huh. I said, all right, sir, all right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Don't say another word. Yeah. He says one and of his you have favorite. Been duly compensated for your creation. Yes, and funny enough, you know, you know, say, is a little bit before the pandemic, I registered that song with Askia. Yeah? All this time it wasn't All registered. All this time? Made the wisdom. No. Why? Remember, I was young, and the older people, they had to do it towards managing me, and right. I think Willie and I had an issue oh. on the writership. Okay. And all this time I thought he had registered with ASCAP is when the Ashanti thing bust out, me no say he didn't. When I asked him, he said, no, it didn't because I had issues. I said, no, Willie, you had issues. Yeah. <laughs> so we fixed that. So I registered the song with ASCAP. So I'm good. You're a good man. Big tune, a big tune. Do you work, like, go and do events now as a solo act? Or is it just uh, really and truly with a great man? Just with Mr. Hammond. Just with Mr. Hammond. I mean, like, the only thing I'll do is if somebody requests me to sing at their wedding, wedding and they so. want First Real Love to right. sing, and then I'll probably do another song. So, other than that, no. Mm -mm. Yes, yeah, so with, with the great. Cause, yeah, because sometimes people might want shows for me to do it, but then I'm flying out. Right. So, I don't really take that on and to get a band and all of that. Mm. Mm. You're so laid back as <laughs> you. Yeah. It's not for me. Fame, yeah. fame is really not for me, you know. Yeah. Me not, me not, me not really, too much things come with fame. The business is too hypocritical and then dangerous outside the business. So I kind of get to understand and as we learn it, we learn some things. Yes, right? because even my boss that you see, they have attacked him more than once. Some wicked people in the business, man. Wicked people in the business. You know, working with him, I've heard them, you have heard them. Me and my boss I go up on the road already and don't do a show, you know. I go, we, we are look food, you know. Reaching our hotel, him go in the room, we go in the room. Got a phone call, person asked me if I'm good. I say, yeah. Them ears say, you sure? I say, yeah, man, I'm all right. Them just see the news, say, Mr. Hammond, um, overdose. I say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say I must say Coca Cola and then my boss not drink Coca Cola, apple juice yeah. and the orange juice. If I'm gonna do juice, and then go and then bed, go and sleep, and me I go get some rest because we just do a show. You know how far we is? Yeah. So just that's just one, one event one. to tell you. So we we'll leave it at that. You have been around the world and back with Gargamel and with Beres. Where are some of the places that you have gone that you really enjoy the experience? Um. Oh Lord. I think most of any um, countries where there's a festival, cause music for me is exciting, especially when you're working with artists that you love. Right. I am passionate on stage with my music. Me in a one different world. Me and you with vex, I smile with you upon the stage because me I enjoy myself. When we come off, bye. <laughs> you know? But um, to go to a festival like the Summer Jam and Summer those jam. places and watch the and, those and, and watch the audience them gravitate to our music. We could go places like Africa. Cause I've been that is one thing. I don't know how they know the words for our songs. But they do. And they do they may not think they speak English. Mm. And they're singing it word for word. And say millions of people coming in there to watch people like even Bujo Bantan or Berry Salmon. You, you go to the clubs, England, you're in, you're in England and show sold out. I remember one year we did, it was Sanchez and Berries. And every, Sanchez and Berries. Sanchez and Berries wow. and every venue was packed. I can imagine. I'm not exaggerating. I am not exaggerating. Being on stage and just see the, the reaction of audience. What get me though is when you see young people and Mr. Hammond singing and a 15 year old or even younger at the front of the stage crying. I'm like, what? Very stuff for everybody. <laughs> a 10 year old come around, yeah, he wants man. picture with Mr. Hammond, his father use the camera, take a picture, and then he say, okay, daddy, I want my camera to take my picture now with Mr. Hammond, and him listening to Mr. Hammond. You know what, as I said, I, I, I don't know if people really understand the greatness 
It's because of, of who he is and, and we grew up with him. I don't think we understand how great Beresford Amman really is. I don't think that. One day I hope we'll, we'll get there. I know because I work with him and it still is an awe working with him and to know that this man is so humble. Lord, he humbly, 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 still. Me know, watch this humbly, 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 People ever ask me every day. So, <laughs> don't put it out there. Yeah, come on, boss. I know not want to do that. He don't, don't one, like interviewing, don't like to do videos. Yeah. I remember we were doing, they wanted a video for, um, um, up in the morning, I say my prayer. Thank you, Father, right. for another day. Let me clear right away. And boss, he said, a musician, they might come to. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we did the video. Yeah. That's how he did the video. Um, feel good. You had to capture him on the road when we we're on tour. That's how right, we did that why, video. Oh, because a lot we of were it. on tour. Okay. So you have to capture that moment and, and splice that up. That's how him not in the mood for do this something. Then you know. humble this man. He, he but not, but me just make him know. Cause nah. me know him. I'm gonna see him. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> yes, yes, bossy. Yes, bossy. Sir. <laughs> he, you know you can't tell him how to act yeah, because well. him is so humble. I'm just being self. You know, he doesn't know how to be anybody else but himself. And. When you, when you said, you know, what places we go to, and I think everywhere we everywhere. go to is a different kind of atmosphere with the crowd. Let me tell you something. Sometimes I'm so tired when we're on tour, and sometimes it's the audience push back that energy to us. I remember we leave Europe and coming into the state. Now, you know, time zone right, change. Right, right. We were tired, and it was a show in Virginia. And we were like, jeez, um, you want to sleep, you see, man? And we're at the venue, you know, we're reaching... I want to stick for all up my eye because you're still trying to get back this time right. zone. Okay. And when it starts and the audience starts, we right. don't know where Shit. the energy they come from. But they are always watching him. Like, what? And then, yes, when it's done, and we go back in the dressing room, you mean, Jesus? God, God, me just want to see me take off shoes, everything. I mean, like, when we're leaving, we're going to the hotel now. I need to sleep. It's Still hard putting work. in the work. You have to put it in because guess what? The audience come for entertainment. True. So my problem are with me of they no business about that. Entertainment. They entertain, but they give you that energy. So I can't even pinpoint where I could go and say, me get that. It's like every venue you touch, you get a ah. Mm. You know? Is every it, country. Yes. Looking at the journey, Lady Dory, is there anything that looking at it you feel like you 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 may have done differently, or you would do differently if you get the chance to redo it? No. No. <laughs> Tell us that you will be lit, you can wash out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes you plan and you plan the wrong thing. Which is true. And if, like I said to people, if I was supposed to be out there as one of those mega stars on stage, and if it was for the creator to have me out there, he would have had me out there out front. He still didn't have me back. Right. Because then people still hear you. It's so funny that you might be a background vocals for Mr. Hammond, but even background vocals have fans. Right. When I am on stage and I finish a show, people come in to me and like, are coming to the ladies, and they know you are the longest one working with Mr. Hammond. One lady said, the vibe between you and Mr. Hammond, there's something there with you. I just love how you interact with him. And you have your special people coming to you, and they're like, what? People asking, um, Mr. Hammond, so the tall, elegant one, she's going to be there? <laughs> Say, yeah, man, chef did it, man. Chef did it, man. So it, 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 is an, it is an awe that we as background vocals have our own fans too. Like, people coming to us, they want stuff. So I'm saying, like, okay, we have our own fans and well, we're still humble and humility because, you know, it's work, but yeah. I enjoy my work. But in truth, still, wisdom, you know, <laughs> have, have her name. So yes, you'd have done your work as yes, well. Yes, that's true. So I mean, that is true. That is true. So you, you you're still recording and stuff as well. Um, I'm still recording. Um, I am married, and my husband he is producing stuff. Congratulations. Thank you. you. So he lives in the state, okay. and uh, we're doing some covers, okay. like you know, few songs of some top artists and stuff. I mean, him, him believing in me, yeah. so if him believe in me, I mean, that's important, you know, yeah. for good reasons. Yeah, and you know, when people are get excited, they're like, okay, I want to them. Yeah. You never hear me crack right there, so. <laughs> like, because me and my biggest critique, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man, me and my, me not like listen to me yeah, all the like time. No, sir. If me listen to me, 
And you see me keep on this lady, yeah, yeah. man, cheese and that song is sound good. You see Cold Bomb come up on me, that yeah. made me really like you know, it. Watch back my video, them still All like right. that night, So you know what me I talk about. <laughs> me is my biggest critique. <laughs> so when people even come and say, Wow, you sound good. Or somebody yeah. said, look here, even the other night when we're doing some fest and somebody said, oh my God, I hear your voice. Your voice. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Come in with me, I find some fault, you know. Right. Me, I listen back to him and say, you know, I could have turned that note there, so about all right, the next mm. time. Me always I go up, but I still give thanks. I still give thanks because, you know, that was one of Mr. Hammond's songs. Right. Solid. Solid. Solid love. <laughs> you, as I said, did it on your own until you decide to start doing it with other people and you have scored as far as i am concerned one of the biggest songs in the history of the thing thank you a song that could have done well anywhere in the world yeah. because of the texture of the song the message in the song the quality of the vocals and stuff and you have you know found your niche found your calling <laughs> and you have made it work for you and you have been doing that happily ever since. Happily. My good. <laughs> You're good. My good. Children? One daughter. One daughter. <laughs> yeah. Big woman now? 27. 20, a big woman. Right? <laughs> and she can sing. And she can sing. What? Yeah. Wasting a talent. She has it. <laughs> she can sing, man. When you hear her harmonize, you think yeah. Mickey can harmonize? When you hear Do her, just with naturally. Her, man, and, and, and see if she likes She's shy. You know? she's shy. Our, our like mother, like daughter. No, she's more shy because yeah. she's a makeup artist, too. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, she's a professional makeup artist. I remember she was about. She was in prep school and we went to do a song for somebody up Anchor Studio. Mm. And I said to her, Ajani, come and sing the top part for me. And I give her the note once. And she did it. That gentleman brought a copy of the record, come give it to her. Oh, yeah? Up till this day, my daughter still remember the lyrics of this song. I said, you remember it after me, remember that. She remember it. So, like a talent being wasted with you. Yeah, because while I was pregnant, I was in studio with her, mm. singing harmonies and stuff, and then we used to sing a lot. And when she had a baby, me sing to her. I try that with my you. Um, me sing to her. Have advice. She knew Mr. Hammond sang them because I have around the old time sang them. They might go listen to them vibes yeah. cartel and them people. But she but. must know all this. I'm gonna play those stuff. Actually, the other day she said to me, she said, Mommy, you know that since I'm getting much older, I am appreciating Mr. Hammond even more so. Yep. Because you know, she was at some fest yeah, with you. You know, you know, vocal you capability. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she doing your bad dance. I told you, see. But we can't sing with you still. That's true. If I even in the bathroom. What? Bathroom make everybody but, sound good. You know, that acoustic. In the bathroom, have the acoustic. Oh, Lord. Oh, she doesn't make help your panda. Only you alone have to listen to you. So, Lady Wisdom, as I said, you have been you have been doing it. And you said that um, is, if, if there's a song, is one of your favorite. That, is that was one of my favorite, favorite. Barry Salmon back then too, yeah. And you yeah. know, me have more few favorite one, but that's what you've noticed. Me say one, one off. off. What are the others? Oh, jeez, I'm really? Just give me one or two more, man. All the ballads them back from the, the old time days. There's an album that called Love Has No Boundary. That's one of my favorite album with Music Is Life. Those mm. two are my favorite album. Life. Like every song on it, mm. yes. Love Has No Boundary. Have a special vibe with that album, yes. and then there are others because me handful. Yeah, with, handful. With, 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 he had too much. The covers that you're working on is that going to be like a compile, a body of work, like an album LP type of vibe, or is just um, I'm not sure. Some tune. I'm doing some tune, and then I'm, I'm not sure how he's going to. I think he's going to put some out one by one. One by first. one. Yes. Okay. I'm not sure how he's going to structure them. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. It is. A joy to sit down with somebody who has been in the music for so long, doing so much great things that we now see or hear about, but still has been making a mark. Thank you. And, and touching many lives in many places. Thank you. Yeah, and as I said, Thank I am you. in awe of how <laughs> humble you are, despite your capabilities and, and some of the stuff that you have done. Thanks. Like, yeah, some people have them do one show with Beres, some of the greatest things. No, you have sir. done all shows with Beres for 20 odd years. Oh, you feel big one like you're better than nobody. I, I really admire None that. None of our talent is ours, and it's loaned to us by it's the creator. To us by the creator. And him say, if you have it, yeah. why you boss about it? We don't need to boss. You do dub plates on a regular? I tell you. Okay. Me say, 
When some people find out, say, uh, she sing verse real love, you want to see me, I learn to sing dub played. <laughs> me laugh off for myself sometimes, but every now and then I got through good man, and I say, what? For the people I'm out there who want to get in touch with, a lady wisdom for... A dub play? Yeah, so how do they go about doing that? Um, they could call me, um, at my number. Sure. That's 384. How many number again? <laughs> 0188. Run it again. 384-0188. You can call me on that yeah. number. And somebody out there may, may, may have a song that they have written and they never hear it, your voice and it and stuff. And you never know. Song. As long as, I, as long as the lyrics are like the lyrics, it's clean. Because I do clean stuff. Yes. Yes, I do clean stuff. Yes. You know, so they so. can reach you there. Yeah, man. Mm. So they can call me on that number if they need for me to do dub plates and stuff. Yeah. And, no gunshot, nothing. No, 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 no. derogative stuff. Yes. I don't do those things. So, but, and, and they can call you for the design thing. I'm gonna have to, to open up. Um, if the money right. The, well, the money after right. Oh. When me tell you, when me charge you a price for my outfits, you yeah. have to go pay for it. Right, or right. You're not gonna you really not get, get it. it. <laughs> but then, I don't have the time now because we are getting ready Re now to, to go on the road. To go on the road. But you need to come on the road now. The come on the road. And come on one of the show them. Maybe sometime I saw you can get the interview. Yeah. But it's too my thing kind of structured and you know. Me understand. So how you never get him at some face? I didn't go there, they didn't invite me. So I call. You I, serious? I, yeah, they didn't invite me. Maybe I call Scatan in a answer me. <laughs> That would be a nice time. I didn't um, say that car. Yeah, that yeah, would be yeah, a yeah. nice time for you to get him, you know, yeah. at some face. But this is how I look you know? at it. So they say these things, they, they take time. And when the energy is right and the vibe is right, I know very situation is kind of different. Yeah. But may I go with fate, man? I watch, know it, I watch know it for, will happen. Watch for that shows that I think we have a show coming up in um, January. The one with, with him the Bujo. Try to be there. Mm. You could call Harmony House. Yes. Um, it's 754-2760. To see if you could, you know, Find your way down there yeah. so you could get an interview. Because uh, all the people promised me. I said, you know, mm -hmm. we are going to make it happen. Yeah, because there. that would be a good vibe for you to do an interview with him down there. I would love that. That, that would be cool. mother singer. Oh, Jesus, my man. singer. Oh, okay, it's the worst singer. No, mommy pass. No, yeah, man, my but, condolence yeah, to man, you to thanks, me, man. But that mommy singer, man, like, yes. may I tell her. Yeah. And at the world, sing how many people need to document. Yes, you, so. yes. But yes. as I say, I am, I am very patient with these things and I understand Nothing that. Nothing happened before it's time. Ah, ah. Nothing no, happened before it's time. No, that's how I put in work and call, 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 call up in here. Yeah, let's go and call up in here. Let's call it up in the interview. But I'll definitely interview. Be call Harmony House and yes, stuff and, and, and try. Yes. Because I, I know I know how he treats with these things. Mm -hmm. and So I understand that yeah, as man. well. And, and you have to respect that. But I mm -hmm. know so I'm going to sit down with T-shirt one day, mm -hmm. man. Yes. Lady Dwisdom. Lady D wisdom. <laughs> wisdom. Wisdom. I I really enjoy this. Thank uh, you. Thank I said, you. Thank you. You have done. You have made your contribution to the music Thank up you. front, in the middle and round at the background. I so. appreciate. It. Thank you and, so much. And, Thank and, you. And keep doing it and, and keep making the great man so even better than him so. <laughs> Thank like, you. Who knew that was possible? <laughs> Listen, I <laughs> never know I could end up a work with somebody when me love so. Yeah, well, it is, you know, I I didn't know. I did not know, and look at that. A lovely, bubbly personality you have. Thank you. And, and your humility <laughs> knows no bounds. Thank you. So Thank you. Same here. Yeah, man. Same I was quite nice a great man you. to me to say we I will, I Yes, that, I will mention it to him. Yeah, I will yeah. mention it to him. I'm going to say, Mr. Aman, yeah, him cool still, you know, Mr. Aman. With that, with that, with that. I want an interview, you know? <laughs> with that, yeah. yeah. So, I, went, I, will, I will mention it thanks, to him. Lady Wisdom, and, yeah. and uh, we appreciate what you have done for the music and your contribution as well. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. It. I appreciate you guys Blessings. too, you know, because yes. local media them, we are fair. Big them up. Big them up. Not yeah, always yeah, yeah. the big people yes. them. Sometimes as the little people, yeah, yeah put your on one map where you never know you can be on the map. Right. Trust me. All right. Yeah. Big up yourself. Big up yourself too. That. Thank you. Magic. Sing something with Teach Me and I, man. My first real love. Mm -hmm. I, I, let me tell her too. Cause one girl used to sing a song for me and I said, "True, you say I love you more." And yeah. The real name is you more. Yeah. So she was singing, "I love you more," and I said, "You know, I love you more." Like that's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> Teach them on my first real love. Out of all with you, my first real love. Man, I don't wanna lose it now. Every time we get so close, I fear that love will lose them both. 
Teach them I'm a first real love out of all. Big up yourself, teach them. Wisdom says so. I mean, yeah. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> But then I say, girl, is the same. I love you <laughs> more. <laughs> teach them. Hey, yo, hello. Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!